Welcome. In this lesson, we will be discussing how to request market scanner parameters and how to request the market scanner itself. To begin, we will need to understand which parameters we want to request. This is not technically required, though it would be suggested to be sent before your first ever request. This list is also updated periodically, so you may also want to make a new call for this list to retrieve it from time to time. For this initial program, I will use my simple test app class, and in my next valid ID method, I will make a simple call to self dot rec scanner parameters with a set of parentheses. Next, I can define my scanner parameters method, and I will only receive self and XML therein. Within my scanner parameters function, I will use some file manipulation to save these details instead of our usual print method. I will save my XML file to my Python samples directory in TWS API, samples, Python, and testbed. I will set that directory to a variable string labeled dir. Then I can type open dir and then w in quotes. And then an end parenthesis followed by dot write and then in parentheses xml to write my whole xml string to that file. Then I can create a quick print statement to say scanner parameter received. I can end my file with my standard app connect and run combinations I've used in some of our other videos. I would like to stress that I am saving these details to a file instead of my usual print structure because there is a massive amount of data returned here. And, at least in my case, my terminal cannot print all of this data. As a point of reference, this XML file is approximately 2 megabytes. Now, if we run this, we will find the file saved in our testbed directory. I can open this file with our Visual Studio code and see all of the values present. This list is quite large, so we would encourage you to explore this to find exactly what you are looking for. If I scroll down a bit, we could see stk.nasdaq, for example, or stk.bats. In addition to being able to refine my search for specific value requirements, we can also use these location codes to specify the exchanges we would like to operate with. This isn't unique for just US exchanges. We can refine this for any country. If I search the document, I will be able to see we have scanners for Hong Kong, Korea, Belgium, and more. Moving in towards the actual filters made available to us, we could see further refinement still. We are able to see values for volume, or perhaps going through USD volume, so we can see the total value as opposed to the share quantity. I can search nearly any tag from the Trader Workstation, and those values should be made available here. We can search for price above or a variety of 52-week calculations for stocks, options, and so on. With the scanner parameters in place, we are set to request the market scanner. I will be using the same values here that I was using before with my class NextValidID. I will once again be importing tag value using from ibapi.tagValue import star. With my basic outline created, I can start building my scanner. I want to receive top stock info for the US. I will start by setting my scanner subscription object to sub as a variable. Then I will set sub.instrument equal to stock, which uses the instrument tag in an XML file. Per my scanner parameters document, I can include sub.location code and set that equal to stock.us.major from the location code tag. This will give me all major exchanges within the US including NYSE, NASDAQ, AMEX, and more. I will use the scan code top open percent gain, which is based on the scan code tag in that scanner parameters document. I will now create a quick variable labeled scan options as an empty list. And now I can create another list for filter options. 
in the filter options list, I will add a few filters I want to specify for my request. First, I will add tag value, volume above 10,000, so I can receive stocks with a volume over 10,000. Then I can add something like tag value, market cap below, and then set that to 1,000. This would further refine my list to contracts with a lower market cap still. And finally, I will set tag value price above 1. This will filter out penny stocks or anything below 1 US dollar. All of these values are listed as a filter option within our scanner parameters XML file we downloaded before. There is no limit to how much or how little refinement you can choose to include here, so feel free to experiment. With that said, not every inquiry will result in a response, however, as logic will still apply in this scenario. For example, if I make a call for current year earnings per share above, I can set any earnings threshold I like. If I enter a value of 100, while my program will certainly let me make the request, I must also understand that a company will likely not make $100 per share for themselves, and so I can balance my values to return something more realistic, like $10 here. With that said, let's go ahead and create our market scanner request. This requires our self dot rec scanner subscription request and we will include a request ID our sub variable for our scanner subscription object then we can add our scan options list and then our filter options list we can quickly move through our e wrapper object as you might expect this is simply def scanner data this includes variables for self request ID and then the contract's rank, contract details, and then distance, benchmark, projection, and leg string. And then, as usual, I'll print out all of these values. Our variables after contract details are values which may or may not return, depending on your scanner request. You will not always receive leg string, for example, as you may not receive values for combos in your request. Now, moving on, we have our scanner data end method. That simply includes the self and request ID. Typically, I note that this is an optional method to include, though that is not the case for scanner subscriptions. If the subscription is not closed, then you will receive an error regarding a duplicate scanner ID on future requests. And so, I will add in here a quick print that we are at the scanner data end. Then I can add self.cancelScannerSubscription and only include the request ID. After my cancellation, in my case, I will make my typical call to self.disconnect. If we run our code, I can see my usual error codes returned. Now I can also see each rank in my request starting from rank 0 all the way to rank 49. This will only provide data with respect to the position and contract information. This is a very basic list to get you started. Keep in mind that you can use market scanners with any other security, like options or futures, but you will need to be sure your tag values match up accordingly. In a future video, we will dive more in depth to see how we can request market data from market scanners. This concludes our video on market scanners and the TWS API. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you join us for more TWS Python API lessons.